Hey, this is Halal. In this video, we will try to solve some of the MCQs that were asked in a microeconomics paper. The first question is, the method of calculating total revenue is, first option is P into AC, that is price times average cost, second option is price times quantity, third option is average cost times quantity, and uh, third option is marginal cost times quantity. The correct option in this case is, total revenue is always equal to price times the number of units produced, that is Q or sold. So, the correct option is price times quantity gives us the total revenue. Next question is, the entry of the firms in market under perfect competition is, first option is prohibited, B is free, C is conditional and D is by the permission of government. The correct option is free. In case of perfect competition, D is free entry and exit of the firms. Uh, and Prohibited is in case of monopoly. So, the question says under perfect competition, there is fee entry and, and uh, exit of the firm. So, the correct option is B. Next question is, the demand of basic necessities is, A option is more elastic, second is less elastic, third is infinite elastic and D is zero elastic. The correct option is zero elastic. In case of basic necessities, uh, we have a vertical price elasticity of demand or if we have quantity on horizontal axis p price on the vertical axis uh, zero elastic means if price increases there is no change in the quantity demanded why it happens let us say if there is a patient who takes a fixed amount of insulin if the price of insulin increases he will demand same amount of insulin because these are the necessity necessities of uh, life for him so in case of basic necessities if the price changes uh, quantity demanded will not change it will remain same okay or rather if the price increases quantity demanded will remain same so the correct option to this question is zero elastic means perfectly inelastic perfectly inelastic so, in case of uh, basic necessities, we have a perfectly inelastic demand, sorry, a demand curve. Next question is, when marginal utility is zero, total utility is, uh, options are negative, positive, maximum zero. When the to marginal utility is zero, total utility is always maximum. So, if we take, this is the total utility and this is the marginal utility when total utility reaches its maximum marginal utility at that time is zero so the correct option is maximum that is total utility will be maximum only when the marginal utility is zero next option sorry question is which is not included in natural resources the options are minerals, climate, money and forests. Obviously, the money is not a natural resources, other are natural resources. Next question is, a decrease in demand cause price to, options are rise, fall, remain constant, intermediate. Let us say, a decrease in demand cause price to, if we take this is the demand, demand curve is always downward sloping so a decrease in demand causes price to if demand decreases let us say demand shifts if originally the demand price was let us say 10 with decrease in demand the new price will be this let us say 8 so decrease in demand causes price to fall so the correct option is b another question is the quantity demanded of a soft drink brand a has decreased this could be because the options are uh, a is consumers have a uh, had an increase in income uh, b is the price of a has increased C is as advertising is not as effective as in the past and D option is the price of rival brand B has increased. The correct option in this case would be uh, the B option that is the price of A has increased because we see if um, 
price increases quantity demanded decreases so the correct option is b uh, the question says the quantity demanded of soft uh, drink a has decreased so if first it was at this at this point then if it the quantity demanded decreases because of the inverse relationship between price and quantity the price will go down from this to this so that means the price of a has decreased next question is slope of marginal utility is uh, options are positive negative vertical horizontal the slope of marginal utility because the marginal utility is downward sloping that means it is uh, it is slope will be negative correct option is b next question is which of the following is not a resource as a term used by economists economists use their resources as land labor capital and entrepreneurship so we have land labor and b is the money therefore building is not a resource as the term is not used by the economists or this terminology land labor capital land labor capital that is money these are the resources next question is uh, what is the shape of indifference curve first option is concave to origin convex to origin ho vertical or horizontal uh, the shape of indifference curve is always convex the correct option is b next question is if income elasticity is positive the nature of the commodity is options are superior given uh, inferior and none of these in case of positive income elasticity that means if income increases quantity demanded also increases so this is only the case when there are the luxury items that is if the uh, commodity in question is superior in that uh, in that very uh, instant quantity demanded will increase if there is increase in income so positive income elasticity is always in case of superior in case of given or inferior there is negative income elasticity that is if income increases quantity demanded decreases in case of given and inferior so correct option is c next question is the sole cause of expansion and contraction of uh, in quantity supply is price uh, population tax or technology the correct option is uh, increase or decrease in the supply is always uh, caused by the prices that is if price increases quantity supplied will also increase okay next question is if elasticity of supply is more elastic then the supply curve is uh, options are flatter steeper horizontal or vertical in case of uh, more elastic supply curve let us say um, we have this supply curve the more this curve is flatter let us say it is here like this uh, the the more is the supply curve elastic so any uh, small change in the price will cause more than increase in the quantity supplied so the correct option is flatter the more the flatter is the supply curve the more elastic it is next question is the perishable uh, goods are usually sold in first is international market uh, national market local market or none of these perishable items are always uh, sold in the local market because the goods has not or have not the shelf life um, very long that is why they are sold in the local market next question is the law of increasing returns to scale mostly applied to uh, options are industry agriculture trade or construction so the correct option is industry in case of industry we have the increasing or decreasing returns to scale next is uh, the necessary condition for uh, firm's equilibrium is uh, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost marginal uh, cost greater than price marginal cost less uh, marginal cost greater than marginal revenue or marginal cost is equal to average cost the correct option is marginal cost should be equal to marginal revenue for equilibrium of a firm 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बाय नेचर इकोनॉमिक्स लॉज आर एग्जैक्ट परमानेंट कंडीशनल और क्वांटिटेटिव आई गेस द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज कंडीशनल ओके वी एज्यूम समथिंग कांस्टेंट एंड टेक द एंड फॉर्मुलेट द लॉज लाइक द वी हैव द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड वी टेक सम टेस्टस इनकम एंड अदर थिंग्स कांस्टेंट एंड देन वी कंपेयर प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी ऑफ ए कमोडिटी सो इट इज कंडीशनल I guess I am not uh, pretty much sure, but I will go for the C option. Next question is the characteristic of a commodity to satisfy human want is termed as utility, value, usefulness, or value. So, uh, want satisfying power of a commodity is always called the utility. The correct option is then A. Next question is the Slope of marginal uh, utility curve is that is negative, positive, zero or infinity. The correct option is marginal utility is always negative, so it is negative. In case of rise in demand, the demand curve shifts. A is right, B is left, C is both sides, D remains constant. So if we say if we have the demand curve, if there is rise in the demand, that is if first the demand was this, and it increased, demand increased. Sorry. it a uh, demand increased let us say it was here 100 items it took to 200 we can see here the demand curve shifts to the right left both sides or remains same in case of rise in demand uh, sorry if it is uh, if, uh, if it is like this increase in demand or decrease in demand uh, is the case of shift but rise or fall in demand is always on the same demand curve so the correct option is correct option is it will remain constant we will remain on the same demand curve if there is rise or fall in the demand if there is increase or decrease in demand then in that case the demand curve will shift okay so since the question asks us about the rise in demand so rise in demand is always on the same demand curve increase in demand means change in the uh, demand curve itself so it will shift in case of increase in demand but a rise in demand is on always on the same demand curve so it is it will remain same the, the demand uh, curve will not shift next question is In difference curves cannot be L-shaped, be straight lines, intersect, or all of these. Well, the in difference curves first is the L-shaped. Yes, the in difference in difference curves can be L-shaped in case of perfect complements. Uh, be straight lines. Yes, they are straight lines in case of perfect substitutes. Intersect? No, the in difference curves cannot intersect. The correct option is C. the next question is the costs they depend on output in the short run are called options are total variable cost b is total both total variable cost and total costs uh, c is total costs only and d is total fixed costs so the costs they depend on output are always total variable costs in the short run okay the fixed costs are not accounted in case in the short run so or rather the fixed costs does not depend on the output in the short run next question is the law of diminishing marginal utility status uh, option is our total satisfaction will decrease as more units of goods are consumed b is total satisfaction de derived from each additional unit of good consumed will decrease the c option is total utility will become negative uh, b d is both uh, first and third are correct no total utility cannot be negative total satisfaction decrease as more units of goods are uh, consumed satisfaction derived from each additional unit uh, of a good consumed will decrease the correct option is b i guess so the a also uh, uh, locus correct but i will go for b total satisfaction derived from each individual unit of a good consumed will decrease next question is so we have Uh, we have uh, rather solved this total costs so we will go for this total costs they depend on output in the short run so i guess i have made these questions available
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एवरेज रिवेन्यू इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू प्राइस टोटल रिवेन्यू मार्नर रिवेन्यू आर नन ऑफ दीज एवरेज रिवेन्यू इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू प्राइस वाई एवरेज रिवेन्यू मीन्स प्राइस पर यूनिट सोल्ड सो प्राइस इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू एवरेज रिवेन्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इकनॉमिस्टस यूज द टर्म मार्नल यूटिलिटी टू मीन एडिशनल सर्टिफिकेशन गेन डिवाइड बाई एडिशनल कॉस्ट ऑफ लास्ट यूनिट एडिशनल सर्टिफिकेशन गेन बाई कंजम्पन ऑफ वन मोर यूनिट सी ऑप्शन इज टोटल सर्टिफिकेशन गेन वैन कंज्यूमिंग ए गिवन नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स लास्ट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंपेरिंग मार्नल यूनिट्स ऑफ ऑल गुड्स विच गुड बी परचेज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज एडिशनल सर्टिफिकेशन गेन बाई कंजप्शन ऑफ वन मोर यूनिट ऑफ गुड सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी बिकॉज मार्नल यूटिलिटी इज द एडिशनल सेटिसफेक्शन डिराइव फ्राम कंज्यूमिंग एडिशनल यूनिट ऑफ ए गुड